Hey guys, it's Anwar Tech HD here back with another video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a way to fix this issue. So the issue is that uh, when you try to connect a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network in your Windows 10 PC, the Wi-Fi network is really slow compared to the 2.5 gigahertz. Uh, here you can see I'm going to show you live uh, that I'm going to fix it. Uh, here you can see I've connected to my 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi network and the speed should be somewhere around uh, 150 to 200 but the speed I am actually getting over here as you can see in speedtest.net let me just uh, check the speed so the speed I'm getting is very low it's only 29 uh, if I connect to 2.5 gigahertz it's just going to be way better than this so this problem can be fixed easily I just found the fix I've been facing this issue for a long time and now I'm just going to show you the way to actually fix this as, as you can see the speeds were only 30 mbps we're gonna do a fix so what the problem is when you go to device manager Go to device manager you all if you want to go to device manager you go to start and then you search for device manager and you can uh, just come into device manager so once you're into device manager what you want to do is uh, here you will see network adapters the expanded network adapters and 100% uh, in all your pc you're going to have something like this a broadcom uh, 802.11 ac network adapter your network adapter so if it's the broadcom uh, then this is going to help you out so click on properties and go to driver so once you are here in the driver you can see the driver date is actually updated to the latest version which is 2020 april 21 uh, but then the version is also 7.77 this is the latest version now the problem is the latest version so all you have to do is downgrade to a version that actually worked perfectly fine yes this sounds really dumb because i'm downgrading my driver and it's going to work but this is the only fix that i have found i've been uh, trying a lot of fixes on the internet and this is the only fix that's going to work so the driver version 7.77 or any other latest version is not working for the 5 gigahertz uh, wi-fi in windows 10 so we're gonna downgrade it so the link is in the description so make sure you go to this link in the description this is going to work for every windows 10 64 bit uh, this is the same windows driver same driver just a second so this is the same driver this is 7.77 this is 7.35 so this is we are going to downgrade the 7.77 to 7.35 go ahead and download the file uh, download from any of the one uh, links and i've already downloaded the software over here all you have to do is extract it to a folder you're not going to find a exe file so i'm going to show you how to install this version you're going to have these set of files over here now what do you want to do is you want to go back to device manager as i told you guys if you want to go back to device manager go start type device manager and there it is and expand the network adapters and find your broadcam network adapter and go to properties and now you're inside properties go to driver once again and click on update driver when you click on update driver do not search automatically for updated drivers go to browse my computer for driver software you got to do that and you're going to click on browse and you're gonna go exactly to this to this certain folder that you just ex extracted so i'm gonna go do that and click on ok and click on next so what you're going to do uh, so what windows is now going to do is it's gonna uh, see what version is that so definitely windows will not accept you installing a older version when you already have the newer version so you just have to do this and click on close and once again you're gonna click on update drivers and you're gonna click on browse and here you're not gonna browse here you're gonna click on let me pick from a list of available drivers and here when you click on show compatible drivers you're gonna see the old version you're gonna see the version that we just extracted so that is exactly what you want to select do not select the newer version select 7.35 click on next and it's going to install the older driver once that is done boom guys you can just check right away as you can see here i'm still connected to the same wi-fi i have just installed the drivers now i'm going to show you live the proof in speedtest.net right away you know you saw it just a few minutes back we had 30 mbps now i'm gonna same check the speed right now after installing after downgrading our network driver
So guys, as you can see, it's slowly starting to increase. It's going about 150, 160. Okay, that is exactly what we want. Okay, it just hit 200. That is exactly my internet speed and I've just got 220 Mbps right away. I've just uh, downgraded my uh, broadcast network adapter and that just worked like a charm. So that is the fix you want to do, guys. Please share it with your friends if they have the same problem because uh, no one has actually done a fix for this video. So I've decided to do it so that it could work for you a lot of people have this problem in windows 10 every windows 10 64 bit user has this problem so go ahead and share this video and make sure you subscribe to my channel and give it a thumbs up if it helped thank you for watching my video guys and i'll see you in the next video peace